today I'm going to be thinking about making a spray booth and I'm going to start with this extractor. I'm Steve and welcome to my channel. This was being thrown out on one of the places I used to work at and I thought it's ideal for spraying cars. Um, and I bought it home, just put it in a cupboard and I've never even touched it. And that was all years, probably 10 years ago. I've never actually plugged it in. So this is the first time I'm gonna try it. And someone has put an arrow point in this way. So I'm just gonna try it, see how well it blows. Right, here we go. Very quiet. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try again with this bit of rag and it's going that way. So that's more than enough for what I want, I think. Uh, that's really good. So I'm pleased with that. So this is the last thing um, to clean on here. I've already cleaned it and it's full of dust as you, you would expect. But it, there's like a, a layer of black paint or whatever it is and it's like sticky. Now I put some uh, standard thinners on here and it came off easily but this is plastic, that's metal, that's plastic. So I don't want to put thinners on here in case it affects the plastic. So as long as there's no dust in here, which there isn't, I think it'll be fine. Now that's all cleaned. Um, no, no dirt at all in there. And the reason I took it all apart and cleaned everything was because if I do get issues when I start spraying with contamination, dust or whatever, I can eliminate this because I know it won't be coming from here. So for the last four months, really, since before Christmas, I've been cleaning this garage, um, making sure there's no dust in it and everything ready for spraying in the spring. Well, it's spring now, so now I'm going to think about putting a spray booth in here. Now, this is what I've got. So I made two more shelves there. Those two bottom shelves I've put in and that's, I've got a hell of a lot on here, on there actually. And so that's enabled me to make a nice space down the side of the car there. Now on this side, this, this washer is, it can easily be moved out the way. So I have about probably just under a meter from that pole to the car. So I can, I can move the car in that, that direction. So I'll get the same down each side of the car. And then what I'm thinking of doing is getting some plastic sheeting, see-through plastic sheeting, and then attach it to the ceiling and then attach it to the, the floor all along here on three sides and maybe not on wh where that heater is. Maybe I won't attach the plastic to there. I don't know yet. I might do, I don't know. Um, 
So I don't know how to do it really. I don't know whether you suck the air out with that extractor or you blow the air in with the extractor. So now I'm going on YouTube and I'm going to search for other people. I'm sure there's going to be lots of people that have made their own homemade spray booths. So I may be gone some time. So if anyone watching has got any ideas, please put a comment. Um, I love to hear people's views on it, um, different ways of doing it. There must be lots of different ways of doing this. Um, you know, I have to make a door to get in and out as well. And I've got a lot of questions, unanswered questions at the moment. So please um, put comments if, if you got any ideas what I can do. I'm keen to listen to everyone and uh, make, then I'll make my mind up how to do it. <laughs>